So that's my breakfast place. Halfway in between the uh, north end of De La Once and the south side of De La Once. Where you can get breakfast and lunch. For 5,000 pesos. Which is a dollar... 20 US. Hola amigos, amigas, Javier here from Hum of the Earth. And today, signing in from Sogamoso, where I'm currently living. And it is a cheap place to live. Today we're going to be walking De La Once Street, which is like the busiest street in the city here in the center. And we'll be checking out what things cost here in the city of Sogamoso, in the department of Boyacá, in the country of Colombia. So currently, one US dollar is 4,000 Colombian pesos. Breakfast is dollar twenty. The one I got there with the uh, mondongo, which is cow stomach, was six thousand. Because uh, gotta pay extra for cow stomach. But still really cheap. Been going there a lot because uh, one of the cheaper places to uh, get breakfast, and it's pretty good. You got options. So in this park here, they uh, often have musical and dancing events here and different markets and stuff. So this is not like the cheapest street to buy stuff, it's just the busiest where we'll get to see uh, the most different types of products here. There's a ton of shoes in this city. Those ones are 20 to 25,000, which is um, five bucks. And there's some for seven bucks. So super cheap and they look pretty good. Yeah, a ton of cheap shoes here. From five bucks to twenty bucks. Here's a department store that's probably going to be a little bit more expensive because it's a chain. Yeah, there's tons of shoe stores and they are super cheap. You can get some more expensive ones there for 130,000. That would be um, that would be a little bit over 30 bucks for some high-end leather shoes. Here they have a mall that's under construction. Obviously, I'm not going to check the price on everything here, just the stuff that's advertised. So, 10,000, that's uh, $2 for those. 
These are uh, six bucks, these pants. That was a pack of uh, masks there for 2,000 pesos, which is 50 cents. Looks like there was maybe five in there. Here's a bookstore. Not super interested in books, so especially when I'm traveling. They have some pretty nice imitations here. Some fake Nikes, fake Yeezys. <clears throat> For super cheap. So this store says mega offers from 5,000 to 10,000. <clears throat> so like from $1 to $2, everything in this store there. You get some hats, some Crocs, trinkets. It's kind of strange here, the cars have right of way when you're crossing the street. Something to keep in mind. If you don't want to get hung, uh, hit by a car. They also have Mondongo here. Sorry if I keep on clearing my throat here, the Mondongo did something to me. It was delicious though. Here you can get some nice fancy suits. This guy coming up is probably not going to do great in the rain. So here there's a pharmacy chain called Lagabaja, which um, I think translates to the rebate or something. I bought sunscreen from them. Uh, when I first arrived in Bogota and it was an okay price it was 40,000 so 10 bucks for two bottles but there's a chain of stores here called D1 where you can get a bag of fried platanos for 60 cents where I can get a tube of sunscreen for 10,000 which is two bucks and a half
So yeah, so things are pretty darn cheap here in uh, Colombia right now. Um, there was, pesos been getting kind of devalued for the last five years, kind of consistently. And uh, especially lately because there was protests in the country and highways were getting blocked off and that can kind of put a gasoline on the fire for the currency so things are very cheap in Colombia right now yeah so a cheap meal is like five to seven thousand so like one to two dollars and uh, if you go to a restaurant you can pay like twice that like a fancier restaurant Here's my room at the Hotel Yanuba, which is basically where that last shot ended there, so right in the center of town. Room was a lot cleaner when I first got it, but I've been set up nicely with my desk and my new Samsung TV. At least they make you feel new by keeping the plastic on it. Um, yeah, so a room in Sogamoso, or in this part of Colombia in general, really, is um, for one night is like thirty to forty thousand for something like this. Um, but since I was going to stay for a month, I negotiated down to twenty thousand, which is five dollars a night, which is not bad at all. So. Yeah, normally seven to ten dollars per night for a one night stay in a hotel in this part of Colombia. And we even have a view of the Exito supermarket. All right, so we're inside the Exito, which is uh, Colombia's biggest brand of supermarkets. And things are actually more expensive here than other supermarkets, but still will give you a good idea of what things cost. This bag of maracuyas, a fruit here in Colombia, is less than a dollar. Bananas are really cheap. For um, It's less than a dollar for a kilogram of bananas. Avocados, a bag like this, is uh, 50 cents. So that's ridiculously cheap compared to uh, North America. A six pack of beer can range anywhere from uh, less than $2 to uh, $5 for Heineken. A pack of sausages is $4. This pack of Mondongo cow stomach, $2. Colombia has a lot more beers than three years ago when I last visited. Also, quite a lot of wine, but unlike the beers where they have a few brands that are actually made in Colombia, uh, there's basically next to no wine made in Colombia, or at least that's sold on a national level. So the cheapest bottle of wine you can get is uh, 11,000, so that's like two bucks and a half for a cheap bottle of Spanish wine. Um, well, yeah, it doesn't get any cheaper from there. In fact, it gets quite a bit more expensive and that's because of the weakness of the peso. Uh, so whenever they have to buy something from another country, uh, it's pretty expensive. Like even something from Argentina, which has also had uh, actually even worse problems with their peso still expensive at 45,000 on sale for 30,000 which is uh, about 10 bucks yeah. 
So I hope you've enjoyed this look at the prices in the city of Sogamoso and the department of Boyaca. So you can expect this type of pricing in this department of Colombia. And uh, it shouldn't be too different in the rest of the country as well, with a few exceptions, uh, such as Bogota, the capital, which is the most expensive part of the country. And there you can expect to pay about twice as much for pretty much everything. <laughs> I've really enjoyed my time in Boyacá. Uh, from the reason why I was staying in Sogamoso is because there's so many pretty little towns uh, around here. And Sogamoso is kind of right in the middle of all of them. So from Sogamoso for 50 cents to a dollar to two dollars at the most, you can take a bus ride to these pretty little towns that you can check out and then go for a hike. Because we are here in the Andes, so there's an infinite amount of hiking. And if you'd like to see some of those towns and some of those hikes that I've went on in the beautiful department of Boyacá, I have a playlist in the description for this video where you can check out all those videos. And I also have a link to another playlist of all the videos I made three years ago bicycling through uh, Colombia, checking out most of the popular places to visit. Um, that was part of a larger trip bicycling through Latin America. I've also bicycled through Eastern Africa and Eastern Europe. And I have playlists for all those countries that I've bicycled through available on this very same YouTube channel, Hum of the Earth. And if you'd like to see an interactive map of everywhere that I went and all the things that I got to see and do, I have that map available over on my website, followthehumoftheearth.com. where you can click on the different locations and see the various blog posts and videos that I've made of those places. If you'd like to follow my continuing adventures in the Department of Boyacá in Colombia and beyond, you can do so by clicking on the red subscribe button and clicking on the bell to be notified when new videos come out. All right, so that's gonna do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one.